What's up guys? We are back with SPL Finals tiebreaker, the old deciding game for This is Ubers. Mazar vs Gunner. They played two times already this season. And this is tiebreaker last game, whoever wins wins SPL. We see Mazar bring a Sableye semi stall type of team again. He already did that last time. He has a Magirna this time, prepping for Xerneas. So that's a nice prep. That's probably a hard sweat Magirna. Yeah, Gunner brought offense. He didn't lead with the obvious Deoxys because the Sableye is way too obvious. So the Sableye is gonna go for Protect. Or he's gonna hard switch into Magirna or Groudon. That's something to check the Xerneas. Okay, fake out. I guess the type of letter is not common in Uber, so fake out makes sense. It's not that common, I've seen it sometimes. Now he's going Magina, right? Could see Gunner pulling a double, because there's no way. There's no way you stay in with Sable, yeah, so double is obvious. Um, this might have skilled swapped this Deoxys, I'm not sure. Oh, why did he go for rocks? No! Why? Why? What the fuck? I don't understand. No! And he throws out a toxic on his earnings. This could still be rest earnings. Uh, but the geomancy. An ingrain, but I I'm not sure. Like, Magina still beats Thernies anyway. If it is hard swap. Dude, this game is over. Tigers win. I'm fine with this, but... Okay, let, let's not speak too soon. But that was huge. <laughs> Just getting the rocks bounced back, I don't know. Like, even if you had skill swap, like... I think you always go with Thayla there if you Mazara. Like, you have a defog anyway. Like, even if you skill swap and get up rocks, you can defog later with your... Probably defog... Um, probably defog Arceus, right? Got a Lucario on the whole. Oh, this could be Stonish Lucario. So I assume we're gonna see the Lugia come out here out of Groudon. Damn. Oh yeah, I also recorded the AV game yesterday, but I'm recording Crash. That was sad. We, that was McMahon versus versus Ojama. It was an interesting game. They played without spikes. Like some people were like confused by that. <clears throat> like I don't think you. That's any way you stay in with your ho -Oh, unless you scarfed ho -Oh, which is not sad. Oh, one's like um, either choice banned, right? With sleep talk, sacred fire, brave bird, and toxic, I think. Or it one's like, oh my god, that did so much. Yeah, that's why I thought. As this ground makes sense, breaking potential stone edge. But I thought he would have gone Luke the ground. Good god, why is the chat going so wild? Calm down. Um, Smog has already started. I would have signed up, maybe. I would have signed up if there wasn't this SPL game. No, I actually don't have good. I don't have good teams for Medicham, but the meta. But the thing is, Medicham is not allowed yet. But most are still allowed in S2s. I mean, yeah, he scouted for Stone Edge, but I still think Groudon maybe was better, most better there. I don't know. I'm not an Uber's expert, I don't know why I'm trying to analyze this. Yeah, Arceus is always faster, um, because it's a speedy Arceus. Not always, but this Arceus is speedy. And he can keep clicking recover, because I don't know if... I don't know if Gana would, um, try and, like, risk his Lucario here. He already risked it once, obviously. So this is Arceus ground. He, I, I can see Evolta coming, or, um... I can see a... Probably Ekila from Gunner's side, that's pretty common on HO. 
Like, I don't know what he would switch into besides Evolto. He doesn't have good switch into this. If it, if it goes for Judgment, only the Evolto. So I assume this is like... Not that Lugia could be Ice Beam, but, which is pretty common. So I'm not sure if this would also have Ice Beam to check elements. Magiana is pretty nice also for non earthquake mens. But mens mens earthquake, right? I'm not 100% sure about that. And it was. Good god, Maza linking songs again. Goes for a recover again, okay. Xerneas takes some poison damage. And it's starting, he's linking the songs. Yeah, he went for Geomancy, so he's um, Power Herb. So he's not the Geomancy. Goes from Ho'o to Ground to scout for potential Sunder. Just a Moonblast. Ground will get tweet KO'd from that, so I guess he has to sack something. But the Zarn is almost dead. Like, he can also. Mm. <laughs> I don't think going hard Megina was the player, he just sacks the ground. Like, Megina would probably maybe get tweet KO'd too. Yeah, I still think Mazar wins. I don't know why the chat is going so well. Mm. Damn it, that's focus blast, that did nothing. That was a juicy snack, and now Heart Swap gets all the stats and the speeds, and the set is going insane. I don't know why they're going so wild, like this set is pretty standard in Ubers, right? And it gets the Soul Heart Boosters plus 3 Magina with double speed. Good god, calm down, chat! I know this has been a finals tiebreaker, but this is so wild, I can't even see anything. I mean, you guys see this chat. Uh, this is why I recorded chat. Fucking wild. <laughs> chat going insane about the most standard McGinnis and Ubers. Yeah, I love smoke tourists. <laughs> Dude, this, this runs hard for Pain Split, I think. And Flash Camp probably with Xerneas. And I don't know the last move. <laughs> Song 2, please. I'm still uploading uh, OST at the moment. That series was kind of disappointing, but... Like, I already spent my time to record it, so I'm still gonna upload it. So he switched out and the ground revealed double dance. Good god. He didn't want to stay in on a potential precipice blade. So Rock Polish plus SD. So I assume this is uh, maybe Edge Quick Groudon. With Precipice Blades and Edge. Um. Okay, he's going for SD again. On the Recover, good god. So he's going for the Oko on the ho oh, I don't think he has Stone Edge if he didn't go for it there. Watch Mazar go into like, into like, McGeehan on the Edge now. now I, th I think he's just Fire Punch and Precipice Blades the way this has been played. I'm not sure though. Yeah, Groudon can't learn refresh. Someone looked that up. That would've been fire. Yeah, pretty sure Mazar wins now. Like, no, uh, why, why did I say now? Like, he had the upper hand pretty much most of the time, or like the entire game basically. But not having Edge on this is kind of like I don't even know if Mazar would've had a chance even if this had Edge, cause. Lugia still has multi scale, and after this was poisoned, he could have like recovered still with Lugia even after losing Ho. And he also had Faker on Saber to get extra poison damage. And I don't think that the Lucario has edged. Actually, the Lucario might have edged, but he didn't reveal that. I guess he, I guess he knew that Mazar would scout for edge earlier. Maybe he just didn't reveal edge on Lucario yet. Yeah, the Mazar still has the, the, the speedy RCs to check the Lucario pretty much fine. And he has the, um, the Magirna at a decent amount of health to check a Veltal. Yeah, so I really don't see how Ghana could win. Mazar's thinking about the odd options here. Yeah, it's just Fire Punch. Um, SDing again would have been hard there, but. I mean, he threw KOs this whole. It's a fine play, I guess. Yeah, 
But as seeing again would have been nice in the sense that. I mean, I can understand not as seeing again because the poison damage is wrecking on. As seeing again would have been nice in the sense that Lugia still has multi scale and would do a hell of a lot. Okay, why did I say that? It would do a lot to Lugia at plus 6 basically. But Sableye also has a fake out, like I said, to chip this even more. So this might even die to the next toxic round. Plus then Sableye going for fake out in another toxic round. Sex of Magirna, and now he's gonna go Lugia and spam Recover to just Toxic Stall this, I assume. Or go Sable and go for Fake Out. Yeah, that works, that works. Yeah, I still can't... Like, I still can't get behind that. Why did he go for a Rocks earlier with this Deox? I know it was some... Does Deoxys get anything to threaten Sable? Like besides, I know he could have gone have had skills to up, but I don't think it gets like a fair move, right? That was so odd. But I'm not trying to criticize. I'm just wondering. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> like where he went for rocks? Why he went for rocks? So yeah, Smoktos is starting up. So this is why you guys see all these Gen Seven all these battles popping up. <laughs> I'm pretty sure most of my viewers know about smog trees. I guess I could link the link um, to that in the description. I mean, it's already too late to sign up now. Yeah, it's, it's Sun and Monoyo this week, and Formosa just got banned with like a 92% majority, and I still didn't make have my vote. I didn't vote, and it was already 92%, so it's like I didn't even have to vote, it was that clear. So he goes to Yoxis on the fake out. So we could see um, Magic Code. Wow, that's a godly play. Oh my god. Holy. Oh my man, Padlob is playing Smoke Trees. I will watch that after. I don't know if Magic Code is common on Deoxys. Speed. I know, I know some Deoxys run Taunt. Okay. I don't think the crit mattered because the Oxus speed doesn't have good bulk. And Fall Play uses its attacks there and becomes stabbed because Sable is a dark type, obviously. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this basic things. These basic. Um, yeah, I'm. I don't play much Ubers, but I played Battle Factory once, like. And Battle Factory still has Gen 6. And six sets, I think. So the the oxes that I got in Battle Factory was like taunt, double screens, and rocks, or like rocks and spikes on one screen and taunt. And some I skill swap, I think, and haven't seen Magic Code yet. Just literally going insane over everything. I gotta love Smog to that way he said this right. So you can go into a Voltal. I think the Sabla would be the like mixed offensive and Uber's right? Not really sure. Yeah, a Voltal. Comes out. What? What is happening? What the fuck? So he predicted the, um, what did he predict there, the Arceus? Some sort of switch, oh my god. I don't understand what's going on. What? Why, he keep, why does he keep to clicking toxic? Is he's choice, is he choice? Is he choice to Veltal? And it's his only move that he can click? This is such a wild finals game and it's like, it's so weird dude. But I'm pretty sure Mazar wins. So now the Sable is probably in range to die from like Iron Tail from Lucario. Yeah, this is this is the real game, right? Yeah. This like he just says There's no way this is the real game. Like I think it's the real game. 
Yeah, this is the real game. They have more chats there and everything. Like, there's no way they're trolling me. Yeah, this is the real game. Mazar even asked if someone is already recording at the beginning, right? Yeah, I haven't been following SPL in the last year, so I don't know how ma how um, which of these guys or which team has won SPL in the past, how often. As I said, he's playing bad. I mean, they both made some weird plays, but I'm not the guy to judge that. Going Lugia there is pretty much fine, yeah. I thought we would have seen the Lucario come out there. Psychic Lugia, wow, I've never seen that. I, al I always see the um, Ice Beam Lugia with like Toxic, Roost, and Whirlwind, sometimes with a substitute. So the Tigers are gonna. He says, don't be dark seers. <laughs> tigers probably win SPL, but that's not speak too soon. And they have German players on their team, so I'm completely fine with that. They were like the Tigers were up like at one point in the in the finals they were up like five and two or four and two I don't remember they were like so close to taking the SPL already and then they um, made it Scooters brought it back to a tiebreaker and then a tiebreaker is also one one so they really had to make it as close as possible but this game itself is not that close we're winning out a potential setup RC is there. So it was Arceus Ground. Um, I've seen Arceus Ground with SD once, if I recall correctly, but this one is Ice Beam. Lucario going for SD, so if it has Stone Edge, I don't even know if that would kill because Lugia is so bulky. There we see the Stone Edge, Lugia eats it up, and after that Spadef drop, Lucario drops. Spadef drop sucks. But the, um, the Arceus probably still lived. I don't know if he... Like, he could have SD'd up. No, he couldn't have SD'd again because he has Whirlwind to do here. If he didn't get the Spit Death Drop, he might have gone for Whirlwind there. Because at plus 4, the Lucario might actually be able to... Kill Arceus with Bullet Punch, but not sure about that. So he's going for, like, Freeze or something. Mazar hits the Toxic, says GG. And... The Tigers should win SPL. <laughs> Man said offensive GG. Okay, we see a Calm Mind RC with Ice Beam. Last ditch effort by Gunner. There's no way he can bring it back. Now he's poisoned. This thing is on a timer. I guess he's could have refreshed and recover, but I'm pretty sure this game is over. Chat is going wild. Rest RC is without judgment. Huh? What does Rest even do at this point? Rest wouldn't even win him the game. Wait, could he win with Rest? Rest talk with only Ice Beam. Now he would get PP stalled. I'm not even sure. Maybe that could win. But he's, there's no way he's that set anyway. Man said click the X button. Yeah, this is over. Gets even a crit on the last sacred fire of of SBL finals. Mazar beats Gunner. I think the third time this season. Congrats to the Tigers. Let me actually um go on the SBL thread. But yeah, I don't want to talk too long. I'm trying to load this up, upload this ASAP. Circus Maximus Tigers win SBL eight. Go in this thread. SPL. Should have had this open before. Yeah, and I dipped out of call because I had some white people in call earlier. And I didn't want them to like talk too much crap in my video. Just kidding. 
Oh, I didn't pause yet. But let me go on the first page. SPL finals. So it was 6 and 6, then it was tiebreaker 1 1, and now Gunnar beat Mazar. Here's this. That one was. Um, that one was yesterday. I don't know where I got an extension. Maybe they were not able to play yesterday. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. My Uber's knowledge is not the best, but I think it was kind of fine this game, the narration. Mazar Goat. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna upload this now. I don't know what I'm waiting for. Oh yeah, Shake made a <laughs> Shake made a bad play analysis for this. This is kind of like funny to me because Mazar just won SPL and he made a bad play analysis about this OST game. Yeah, Mazar's probably making like a super long post with like shoutouts for his entire team. I was I want to like wait wait for his post, but it's not. It doesn't seem like he's dropping one. Yeah, just people saying Mazar the great. Yeah. So let me upload my video. Peace out, friends. Good God.